Hi everyone, my name is Gabriel, and today I'm really happy to be presenting on behalf of all my co-authors our work titled The Conflict Between Explainable and Accountable Decision-Making Algorithms. Explainable AI has been put forward for various reasons. It could, uh, for instance, help us trust the decisions made by uh, AI. It could help us validate its performance. It could comply with a set of legal requirements and some circumstances. In this paper, we focus on the proposal of explainability as a way of maintaining accountability for uh, algorithmic decision making. The main idea behind this proposal is that explainability would maintain meaningful human control over algorithms and thus more responsibility when something goes wrong. This raises the question of whether explainability fa indeed facilitates finding an entity responsible when an algorithm makes a harmful decision. In this paper, we argue that there might actually be a conflict between explainability and accountability. We argue that post hoc explanations might create a perception that algorithms and patients, in other words, those that are subjected to algorithmic decisions, should be held responsible when something goes wrong. Most crucially, we argue that these mistaken perceptions of responsibility obscure the responsibility of designers for algorithmic decision making. We focus our discussion on autonomous decision-making algorithms, uh, particularly those that make consequential decisions, for instance, in medicine, in the hiring and finance domains. Uh, many of the systems, they are still deployed alongside a human decision-maker, but they still make autonomous decisions. For instance, they decide who should be prioritized in medical decisions. They select who should be later evaluated by potential employers. What is also important is that even when they are deployed alongside a human decision maker, they are still marketed as autonomous, shaping how they are developed and how they are deployed in the real world. The issue with autonomous systems is that they obscure human responsibility because the human actor is removed from this decision making process. So how can explainability shape perceived responsibility? Our first argument is that if an algorithm seems to give the reasons behind their decisions, they may be seen as blameworthy and responsible. So when we judge someone to be blameworthy, we do it based on an actor's reasons behind their intentions and attitudes. If an algorithm seems to give reasons, for instance, post hoc explanations, they might also be deemed blameworthy. Post hoc explanations uh, aim to basically give the reasons behind a specific decision made by an algorithm. If these reasons are deemed immoral, wrong, or illegal, algorithms themselves might be considered blameworthy or responsible. There's quite some literature showing that people end up blaming AI and robots when they cause harm, regardless of whether they are explainable or not. Our argument is that explainability, uh, particularly post hoc explanations, might increase perceived blameworthiness and responsibility. For instance, post hoc explanations might create a perception that the systems are really capable, leading to higher levels of blame. It might also create the perception that the systems are intentional and that should be blamed for their actions. The issue here is that this perception can obscure the role of human actors. Another entity that could be considered responsible when something goes wrong with algorithmic decision making are those subjected to algorithms, which we call patients. Uh, post hoc explanations, they are designed for those that interact with these algorithms in a post hoc manner, for instance, patients. Uh, one of the main objectives of post hoc explanations is to empower patients and give them control over these algorithms. But is that really the case? We argue that no. There are many issues with post hoc explanations. For instance, it might create a false sense of understanding. It might get out explanations that are non actionable. There is some evidence that people, like uh, lay people, might misunderstand and misuse explanations. And there is this concept of dark patterns where designers uh, exploit explanations to sway users and patients to do something against their own well being. So in summary, post hoc explanations do not really empower patients enough to not give them enough control to make them suitable subject of responsibility, even though they might seem so. 
note that uh, we are only talking about the public perception of responsibility, right? We're not making any normative claims here. And a, a possible question that may arise is that does it really matter that people view algorithms and patients as responsible? For instance, regulation could just disregard these views and decide who is responsible when something goes wrong. But the, the problem of responsibility, this question of who should be responsible is quite political and has a lot of inherent trade-offs that should be weighted openly through political deliberation. Even if policymakers decide to just disregard uh, the public opinion, they should at least be aware of the possible backlash that might come after it. There is some evidence showing that uh, when we adopt liability models that conflict with what people expect, uh, that might uh, basically these decisions might hurt the adoption of AI and hinder uh, the trust on, on AI systems. In this paper, we defend that designers are one of the most appropriate responsible agents when something causes, uh, when something goes wrong with decision-making algorithms. And we focus our discussion on these collective agents, particularly corporations that develop uh, decision-making algorithms. We, we defend that designers could be one of the responsible agents uh, because of the fact that they're often the ones most able to compensate those harms. They're often the ones with the most assets to compensate uh, any victims. They could also, if they are not held responsible when something goes wrong, they might also continue to develop systems that are unsafe for higher profits. In our paper, we basically question, would designers really take responsibility when something goes wrong, when an algorithm makes a really harmful decision? Uh, what we raise is that designers could exploit these perceptions of responsibility, that for instance, algorithms and patients should be held responsible to sway the public perception and shift perceived responsibility away from themselves and towards other entities. This is quite similar to the concept of agency laundering, which uh, people might use algorithms to distance themselves from morally suspect actions. What we show is that explainability might allow designers to exploit this, this mistaken perceptions and basically say, we are not responsible, they are, right? The patients or the algorithms are. Post hoc explanations create a series of new tools for designers to shift perceived responsibility to other entities. Uh, so a disclaimer here is that we by no means are arguing that designers should always be held responsible. Uh, users, for instance, might uh, abuse decision-making algorithms for their own sake. Our main argument is that with great power must also come great responsibility. Designers have a lot of control over algorithms and their explanations, understand how they work uh, way more than the other entities involved in decision-making, right, in this algorithmic decision-making process. So from the moment that they have this greater power and they can exploit these perceptions, they, sh they might be the ones that we look at first when trying to find someone responsible. So given this conflict between explainability and accountability, how can we deal with it? We, we highlight how most of the literature discussing responsibility for algorithmic decision-making often focus on this backward-looking notion of responsibility. In other words, who should be held responsible when something has already gone wrong? What do we defend? is that we should instead focus on the forward-looking responsibilities. What could be done in, in advance to prevent any possible harms? From the moment that we decide who should take responsibility proactively, uh, designers might not be able to shift perceived responsibility to other entities. In the paper, we expand on this reviewability accountability framework, which has been proposed here in fact last year by Kobe et al. And we discuss how this conflict between explainability and accountability might be considered during the ideation, development, deployment, investigation processes that, of this accountability framework. And we, we basically show how uh, designers could ask, for instance, are post hoc explanations really required for the decision at hand? Can we work with transparent algorithms which might prevent these mistaken perceptions of responsibility? How can we test decision-making algorithms with users and patients to ensure that these perceptions of responsibility are, are not exploited by those in power? 
most importantly, what we highlight is that designers must not delegate these responsibilities, these forward-looking responsibilities that should have been considered in previous steps of the framework to other entities, such as users, patients, and even algorithms. We conclude with, uh, our paper with a discussion on hard regulation, right? Uh, the, the framework that we discussed and all the ethical guidelines that we currently have for responsible AI, for instance, uh, re over rely on ethics. But the issue is that these guidelines cannot be enforced. So we actually defend hard regulation uh, when dealing with these responsibility issues. And we raise, uh, we raise that most of the current proposals on how to regulate AI often disregard the overwhelming power that designers have over algorithms, particularly those explainable in a post hoc manner. So for instance, the UAI Act to not really set clear guidelines on who is responsible when something goes wrong. It might be susceptible, for instance, to ethics washing, lobbying by private actors when deciding which standards should be followed. What we argue is that responsibility, particularly these forward-looking notions that we've been talking about, could be codified into law that could prevent designers exploiting these perceptions, right, these mistaken perceptions of responsibility to escape deserved uh, responsibility, punishment, and blame. Thank you very much for listening to, uh, to this talk. I'm really looking forward to any questions that you may have uh, or any comments that you would like to share, bo uh, both online and offline. And thank you very much.